The first line of defense is keeping your gutter clean so the water can flow down the downspout. All right, but we've got a, a good working gutter here, and it's actually been extended away from the house. And that's a great thing. Imagine all that water concentrated coming down and splashing right there on a foundation. Could lead to a problem. It's actually worse than having no gutters at all. Exactly. So we've extended it. We've moved it away from the house. And this is great because he's got a four foot section on here and then the water comes out and this slopes off. So that water just comes in and runs away from the house. Great is our friend here. Right, sometimes you might need a longer piece of pipe, eight or 10 feet to get it out, but just get it out long enough, the water's growing away from the house. All right, so getting it from the downspout to the extension is done with an elbow. They make a bunch of different kinds. Right, this is a classic. It just slides right in and then you could attach here. And this one attaches this way and pulls it away from the house. In case you had to go to a different direction. All right, now great. these are made out of aluminum. Yep. Uh, but there's some alternatives. These are plastic and uh, accordion yep. style. Yeah, they bend and they can go around a corner for you. The only thing I don't like about these is they're short. You really have to add two or three together. And if you look on the inside, you'll see there's all ridges in there. Those ridges can collect debris and clog this pipe. All right, well, we don't want a stoppage. We've also got these splash blocks. How do you feel about these? These are good in certain situations. Now, if you have a, you can get close to the house, the water comes out and it disperses it, so it's not concentrated anymore. But you gotta make sure that it's not tipped back towards the house. It has to be able to run away from the house. So these are only gonna work when we have proper grade. Right. Okay. Now, here's an extension arm that we found at the home center that's pretty clever. In this case, the extension is easily hidden behind all the plantings and the mulch. Sometimes those extensions go out onto the lawn and they're fixed in place so you have to kind of mow around them. Right. But in this case you can actually just bring the lawn mower up to it, it tips right up, you mow underneath it and you put it right back down. Pretty clever. Yeah. Well the homeowner did some good things on this corner of the house but out back we got some problems we need to look at. Now here's the corner where I found a problem. The downspout comes down, the homeowner extended it out to this point. Mm -hmm. But you can see when the water comes out, it's going to build up and flow onto the driveway. In the wintertime, it'll freeze. But also, as that water builds up, it's going to come back this way. See this big drop off in here? All that water is going to flow back down here and right down on the foundation and could weep right in. So good intentions, but not the greatest effect. But sometimes you can't fight grade. It's just going towards the house. And we don't want to come in here with the big equipment and regrade this whole yard. So what do you suggest? Well, fortunately, this homeowner is very lucky. If you look, that grade drops right off down there. So what I would do is connect this downspout to a solid pipe and just take and run it all the way down under the ground across the driveway and so it flows down the hill. Not always an option for everybody because sometimes grade never daylight, no. so never an opportunity to daylight. And then we've got another situation. Right, so then we change tactics. We're gonna try to weep the water down into the ground. I would dig a trench, oh, a good eight or 10 feet out away from the house. Yep. And in that trench, I would line the trench with fabric, put some stone and then take a perforated pipe with the holes down put it like this. The water will come through, go down into the stone, and weep into the soil. And the fabric is to make sure that we don't get any of the soil into the stone so none of this clogs up. That's right. Let me show you something new. Take a look at this. What this is, is a black slotted pipe wrapped in fabric. In between the fabric and the pipe are all little foam kernels. And so this is replacing our pipe, stone, and fabric. It's putting it all in one? Right, and it's lightweight. We can attach them piece by piece. It's just a much more efficient way to do it. So this system here or this system here actually allows the water to leach out the length of the pipe. That's right. What I do is I look at the roof to see how much water is coming off the roof. If I think it's going to be a lot of water that the channel itself can't handle, I'll put in a dry well. Mm -hmm. You take a look at this dry well, it's got slots all around it and no bottom on it. Right. I overdig a hole, I put in three quarter inch stone, set this down in, put the cover on, line the hole with fabric, and then between the fabric and the dry well, more stone so that water can just leach out. And this is going to be able to handle quite a bit of water. Yes, it is. Mm -hmm.